time flies, and we have a minute left. And I really would like to ask both of you one question about Pierre Carl Peladeau and whether Jeff Kelly, you believe he has to divest himself of his holdings in his media empire in order to hold elected office here in Quebec. I just remember the attacks from the PQ opposition against certain of my colleagues, Pierre Arcan, who did the honorable thing and did sell his shares, which were considerable, in the media company. But we seem to be here the double standard that the PQ was very good at. If it was a liberal minister or a liberal candidate, they, would, of course, would be all out there saying he should sell this immediately. And it's indecent that someone with so much direct uh, interest in a media company should be able to be a candidate without selling his shares. But of course, he's a PQ candidate, so the standards to be applied are different. It's a conflict of interest if he keeps his shares, Jean-François mm -hmm. Lisey. I think it's a tough issue because who would he sell it to? And one of our concerns is that uh, headquarters stay in Quebec. And I think Pierre Calpelado said the right thing yesterday, saying he would abide by whatever the uh, ethics commissioner will tell him to do. And that's a fine thing. In the last, we discussed about Which these issues. Which wasn't good enough for a liberal minister. And, and, and <laughs> well, well, there was no uh, ethical commissioner at the time. Yes, there was. There was well, a jurist consul to the National were, Assembly well, there, who cleared but, Mr. Whistle, that, and that wasn't good that, enough for the was, Well, but there was no ethics commissioner for ministers. Now there is one. And on the integrity issue, what ministers I would be concerned uh, about, what I would be concerned about if I was, I was an Anglo in Quebec is, will this guy, Philippe Couillard, do as much for integrity in Quebec that Pauline Marois did. The only thing he did about integrity was hide the fact that there was uh, a police uh, raid on the uh, PLQ headquarters, oh, and we know that 11, by that a press that 11, and 11 we, we, okay, liberal we, now I have to, uh, officials are under investigation for illegal financing. And on I'm this really debate, about I want to thank you both very much for coming to Beaconsfield to the train station to meet the people and for speaking us here on Daybreak. Uh, Jeff Kelly and Jean-François Lisée, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Mike.